Hello! In this tutorial, we're gonna build a location search similar to Google Map Autocomplete, but powered by Mapbox Search Service Geocoding API. If you don't have NPM Package Manager, get it by installing Node.js. In order to use Mapbox API, you'll need to create an account at Mapbox. Once you've registered, you can create your access token, which will be used later in this project. This is where you can learn about Mapbox Geocoding API. You'll find detailed information about the endpoints, queries, and data types. Also, be sure to check out the terms and conditions. We will use forward geocoding for this project. Here's an API request example that shows how the parameters are structured. First, let's install Ionic if you haven't done it yet. For this project, I'm using Ionic, but because it's based on Angular, essentially the project will have the same structure aside from some Ionic-specific tags and styling. Next, let's create a new Ionic project. It will take a few minutes to complete. Ionic creates a default home component. That's what we'll work on. The project contains environments configuration file. You can place your Mapbox access token here. Now let's quickly check that the project is working. Type Ionic serve. This command starts a development web server and opens up a browser. All right, it works. Now I'm going to erase header and content. I'm using Ionic search bar, which is similar to a regular HTML input tag. Also, I'm placing it inside Ionic grid to position it properly. But again, you can do this without Ionic. A list of address predictions will pop over below the search bar. Later, it will be populated using Angular ng4 directive. OK, the template is ready. Now let's work on the backend. First, in the same folder, let's create a service that invokes Mapbox API. We need a few imports. We'll have to inject one dependency, which is the HTTP client. Actually, to use HTTP client, we also need to import HTTP client module in app module file. Also, we'll introduce some interfaces. They are based on Mapbox output data structure. Now we can create a function that receives a search query and invokes Mapbox API. Earlier I showed where you can find Mapbox documentation. I'm going to copy the example input. We need to construct the input in the same way. This is the part where you need your Mapbox access token. The service is ready. Now let's open homepage component TypeScript file. Let's inject the service we just created. We need two functions. One, when the user is typing an address in the search bar. 
and the other when the user selects a result by clicking on it. Finally, we can use Angular directives to connect HTML template with the backend. I'm binding ion input event which is emitted when a keyboard input occurs. Also, we use Angular ng4 directive to populate the list. We bind the click event to onSelect function, as well as string interpolation to display the address. Let's run the application. You notice that API is invoked each time a key is pressed. If you want to minimize the amount of API calls, you should put some debounce timeout. For ion search bar, it's relatively simple using a debounce parameter, although in that case you'll have to bind your search function to ion change event. I've posted the link to the repository in the video's description. Thank you for watching.